going to continue looking at fills now in Archicad, but we're, we're going to look at how to deal with complicated fills. The first thing that we need to be aware of is that we need to have a closed shape in order to fill. So whether you're in true line weight or hairline weight, we want to make sure that all of the corners are closed. They're not open and that they're not overlapping because if they're not, then it makes them very difficult to do. We'll grab the fill tool, just like before. And again, like before, we can either click on using the magic wand, so holding down spacebar. We can click on the outside element or we can click inside a shape and we'll see what it does. So if we click inside, that worked quite well. And I'll move this away for a second just so you see what I'm talking about. And I'm going to move it away a set distance so I can move it back later. So I'm going to drag this away, let's say 6,000. Doesn't really matter, it's just a number that I'll remember. 6,000 millimeters. Now I'm going to do the same thing around the outside and see if it's as easy to create. Magic wand. Not quite. Let's try it in a different place. Struggling to, to, to figure out what I'm trying to do because of the shape. So, yep, still same result. One more time. Same result. Now, I, I'll have to check this. I need to be diligent and make sure that look where it's breaking. Is it breaking on an edge? If it's breaking on an edge, it's probably the edge is wrong. But here we see it's not. It's breaking in the middle. In the middle. On an edge. But this edge is perfect. So, oh, maybe it's not. Maybe I found one that's not actually perfect. Let me see. Zoom in enough. No, it still looks good. So, sometimes, like I said, sometimes no matter how well we try to draw, if the shape is too complex, Archicad's just not going to be able to figure it out. So we can add to a fill. Once we've created a fill, if it's not quite right, of course, we, we'd prefer it to be perfect, and we'd prefer only have to use the magic wand. That makes life easy, but it doesn't really matter. So we can add points to this. <coughs> so we can either use the add node point, and adjust the edge of this adding nodes, or we could use the add to polygon. So I'm going to try this method first. Add to polygon, and then magic wand in the shape that's missing. So mostly that fixed it. Now I could do the same thing to subtract from the polygon where I don't want it to be. Select, subtract, select, subtract. Oh, that didn't work. So now let's adjust this manually. I'm going to choose a node, I'm going to move that node, and then I'm going to choose a point in the middle, and I'm going to add a new node to line that up. So now, it wasn't as easy as it might have been, but it wasn't too hard at the end of the day. I can now select this fill, do the same thing as before, select the fill tool, magic wand, and cut out that hole. If that wasn't working, what else could I do? I'm just going to change the color of this fill just to make sense for you. I could move a copy of this if that last idea didn't work. Move, drag a copy or drag, it doesn't matter. Same distance, that's why it's important to remember the offset. I'll just display or to send this one backwards a little. And I could do the same thing. Select, subtract, subtract. And that would be another way of helping me to cut out the inside. I'll do that again if you missed that. Select the big fill. Select the edge of it, subtract, cut out the whole magic wanding, or select the big fill, select the fill tool, magic wand on the orange fill, and that will cut it out. I'll take the orange fill away, and we see that the hole is left. Now that hole can be deleted at any time. Press delete to delete the hole. We don't want to do that. So now we can move that back to its original location. Move, drag. Again, across, hold, shift, press R, 6000, or D. R or D means the same thing, dimension or radius. And now I don't need to redraw this other kangaroo. Now, if this was an emu, maybe I'd have to redraw that if it was a different shape. But if it's just a mirrored copy, move, mirror a copy. Use the middle of this column as the mirror point. Hopefully that lines up, mostly. This looks a bit funny, so 
Not quite sure how they made their logo, but um, maybe they didn't make it like we did. So now we have this logo. Now what do I want to do with it? I'm going to select just the fills. I'm going to group those together. Edit, grouping, group. And just to explain what we're doing, I'm just going to now copy that and paste it up onto the story above just so you can see that we're left with fills and again those fills could have an outline so we could leave them with an outline or of course if we wanted it to make it look black like the one underneath maybe we'd turn off that outline and change the the foreground color to black so now that is if I was game enough to delete all my lines let's just cut them so now that's the original and that's the copy but when we zoom in we see that this is pixelated and the one that we've created will never pixelate it's a perfect vector based file so the file size could be very small and then for whatever your logo is for whatever logo you're creating this is obviously just an example then you can use this as part of your drawings on your title block so let's just switch files and show you one that I created earlier so here I've got a copy of my logo same thing vector based logo using the fills in Archicad of course I didn't just use fills I used the spline tool a lot we'll have a look at that in the next video how we can use the spline tool to create um, some shapes and and that's the fill tool and that's how we can use it in Archicad maybe for not doing something architectural maybe for doing something more graphic design based